हेलो ऑडिबल यस सर यस सर यस सर जस्ट गिव मी मिनट आई एम okay uh let me get started i'm sharing my screen and i think the recording is also started so what i did i have created uh we have a aws account on that aws account i have created uh, a ec2 instance on that ec2 instance uh, i have created one um vault install vault let me show that to you i hope uh, you are able to see the screen yes sir okay so here what i did uh, i have we have a aws account or more aws account where i created two ec2 instances so one is a vault server i think i have uh, two one is the kafka confluent kafka server and second is the second one is the stop i just stop that right now just want to run only one and there is a vault server on that vault server uh, i have installed the hashicraft vault and not the development mode but the production mode so that uh, it can persist all the things and how i did it here is the process i just connected launch an ec2 instance to that ec2 instance uh, i downloaded um, the vault and install the vault the production copy not the development copy so security and the pem key is this one okay so cd so this is the mobile xtem tool uh, anybody know about this tool so this is used to connect to the servers ssh to the servers okay the name of the tool is mobile xtem this is the name of that tool anybody has uh, used this one or know about it no okay uh, just get it uh, it's a client and you can install it it is used to connect to the linux or unix servers okay so this is the mobile xtem tool i'll go to the location where i downloaded it and you can see that uh, this is the vault uh, zip and inside the vault zip i just extracted um and we are using it so it is under
slash user and pin. Here, um, this is the board. This is where we install it. So this is here, the world is there and inside the world bin and other things are installed. So when we call the world, it is get called and we started that. So we start hone ke baad, we can access it. So I just grab the IP, the public IP of that. Okay, before that, we just need to whitelist the IP. Does anybody know about how we can whitelist the IP? Does anybody know? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So, suppose aapne, uh, anybody know about Tomcat server uh, or any web application server? No, sir. Okay. Suppose aapne EC2 instance pe kuch install kiya and it's a web application server or uska access dena hai aapko outside, meaning uh just like you without connecting to aws mujhe aapko access dena hai. so i need to whitelist the port number so that outside world can access it so there are security groups so for each and every ec2 instance there are security groups so for this this is one security group and every security group has some rules so, जैसे मैं यहाँ पे बोल रहा हूँ, SSH जो access है, first is inbound, जो inbound connection है, network inbound connection. So SSH का port 22 होता है, so give access to all users to access the port number 22. So anyone can connect to port number 22 और SSH कर सकता है. The only thing that he should have a key to connect to log into the system. Anyone can do the HTTPS protocol or call the this one all people. So HTTPS ka default pro port hai 443. For HTTP, anyone can make a call to HTTP using port number 80. And in that, I have added the custom TCP or bull round ki 8200 port number bhi open kar deta hon, so that anyone can access it. So, what's the benefit of it? When I go back here, the benefit is I can access the vault application directly in a browser. So, I'll copy this, I'll go here, I'll paste this, and I can connect to vault. Okay, anyone can access the vault. So I can log in with token or I can log in with username and password. And these are the persistent right now. So it will not uh, delete. So when I install vault, it give me uh, the keys also. So when I get this, I got a three keys and one root key. With the root key, I'm going to log in the root token. I'm going to log into the system. Okay. I'm able to log in and I can see the secrets, access, and this is a production version. So it means it will not uh, delete or remove. Once I restart, it will stay there. The credentials will stay there. And as this is on EC2 instance, you can also... Um, Try to check it. Okay. I'm just sending this link in the chat and you can also try to invoke this. Okay. I put it into chat. Try it. You will be able to see the login page. You will not able to log in, but right now you can see the login page. For test purpose, uh, I'll just choose one person. I'll ask him uh, to log in. 
okay what i'm going to do right now uh go to access The policy I'm trying to get it from the user. What I'll do is uh, create each user, okay? And I'll ask each user to log in with user ID and credentials. So uh, you can send me, I'll share one Excel in that you can send me first name and last name. I'll add all the users to the vault so that you can access it. For right now, Akshay, uh, Akshay Nage, can you just please check uh, you can access this URL, the URL I put on the chat. Can you please check? Yes, sir. You are able to access it, right? Yes, or you are checking? Sir, currently not accessing. Not able to access. Just use HTTP, don't use HTTPS. Can you use HTTP only? No. Hello, sir. Yes. Aditya here. Uh, mm -hmm. I just check it, uh, but it's just showing me the login page. Yes, that's what I yes, just want. Yes, sir. Same here. Okay. Yeah. So you are able to access the application, but not able to log in. But what I'm trying to say, because I whitelisted IP for all other connections, you are able to access. Uh, of course, you will not able to access log into the application because you don't have a credentials. If I give you key, you will be able to. But I want everyone to use uh, 
their user ID and password. I'll create that so that you can use it in your code. Okay. So that's that's the one setup we did. And second setup uh, I have done is a Kafka. Uh, you will not use Kafka a lot, but हम लोग हमारे प्रोजेक्ट में स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा सोर्स यूज करने वाले हैं सो फॉर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस ओके एंड दैट वे यू कैन प्रोसेस आई विल आल्सो गिव यू द एक्सेस टू कीज एंड अदर थिंग दिस इज जस्ट अ सेटअप फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग you can use your own aws account vault app yaha se use karo because i don't want everyone to install vault fir issues aate hai so better have at one place and then uh, start using that one okay okay so that is about i just want to show about the vault server now let's go back to snowflake and continue on the data loading so last time humne uh, i have not uploaded yet uh, the steps the reason is that i just want to reiterate one more time uh, let me log in to the snowflake <clears throat> probably i need to create उंट अगर वो एक्सपायर हुआ होगा सो वी विल हैव टू क्रिएट अ न्यू अकाउंट यू चेक I think I forgot the password. Uh, let me check. Let me again reset the password. anybody tried to use load and unload technique at least load technique what we study no 
no sé. Any reason? Any reason? I mean, was it difficult or was it you didn't get a time? So what we are going to see today is one more time. Uh, I'll just create a new account given that. And I'll just um, and I'll just use AWS as um US East one North Virginia, which is US East one again. Checking can be a reason. Okay, I'll just get an email in a few minutes. I got an email for activation, going to activate it, clicked on activate. I created a new account and able to log into it. That account was expired after one month. So I created a new account with the email ID mm -hmm. and we are in. So uh, last time we saw, we created some stage, probably right now that stage is not available. Uh, I'll recreate those. I'll just log in with a uh, sysadmin account. This role is sysadmin role. Se login hai. To main first, I'm just creating a database uh, so that we can use that database. Uh, DWDB, suppose. Okay. I'm just creating DWDB. Within that, I have public schema and other schema. So creating one more schema, PW schema. Okay. Within this schema right now, I have a zero objects right now, but I can create a stage. I can create uh, uh, tables, view, and all of those things. Okay. So for, for right now, let's work on recreate the scenario and probably 
हमने लास्ट टाइम ऑलरेडी लोकल मशीन पे इंस्टॉल किया था स्नो सिक्वल सो सो स्नो सिक्वल ऑलरेडी रहेगा लेट चेक कंफर्म दैट वन एंड चेंज द कनेक्शन टू द न्यू अकाउंट Okay, you can see that this no sequel is already there. If I run this no sequel, I can see uh, I can run this. Or last time, humne, uh, I think we use Ubuntu. If I'm not wrong, WSL or Ubuntu. Just checking that one. Okay. I'm just checking the Snow SQL file. Konsa file check karna hai mujhe? Konsa file mein configuration details stored hoti hai? Can anybody tell? Does anybody remember Snow SQL cake? Agar mein credentials store kiya. Yes. So under dot Snow SQL config ke under store hai. So I'm just checking. Yes, this was the thing. I need to change this. So let me change this to one. So first, I'm going to change. Uh, insert mode i am on vi editor or vi editor mein jaake main first just ka username change karta hu this is my username second password change karna hoga so i'll go here i'll keep for right now this same because now next thing i need to change is the account name so i'll go to my account to fetch the account name we'll go here uh this if i highlight i can see copy uh the account identifier Just make sure I copy it correctly. And replace this. And changing dot with the hyphen. On connection ka naam, I just name it BWDES. BWDS is the connection name. I'm just giving it. Okay. Okay. Right and wait. And now I'll I just type Snow SQL. So once I say Snow SQL, it will be automatically connected. Oh. Snow SQL hyphen C B W P E S. C stand for what? Connection. Correct. Connection. C stand. I can give you all a dash a account dash u username dash r role then dash uh, p password. I can give all of things or store it into the SnowSQL config file and just 
a create a connection name and just pass the connection name. So my connection name pass kar rao, and you can see I'm able to log into it. Logged in uh, to the Snowflake with uh, uh, the username, password, the default schema that I want to use and the compute uh, the cluster, basically the cluster with which I want to log in. Karna Okay, is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, we will use a file uh, we created last. Last time, what we did, <clears throat> we had a AWS account, or AWS account, we had a file rakha tha and we call that file so let me get some sample file uh, first check the, our aws account so this is our aws account right ye hamara aws account hai i'll go to ec2 dashboard i think i should go to the s3 because we are using the external storage so right now i don't have any bucket We'll create a new bucket and store the file there. So, I bucket create karta US East one region mein. and the blue retail. This is the uh, bucket name. <clears throat> I'll keep the, all the default setting as is. I'll block the public access. I don't want public to access the data. So I'll keep it versioning is disabled. Uh, you know all these details like versioning, kisli use karte, you know it, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, ACL. Okay. I'll keep it as is server side encryption uh, and all things. I'll keep it as it. Any other advanced settings, agar hai, lock karna hai, object lock karna hai, yani. So I'll say no and create with the default settings. I'll create the bucket. So BW retail uh, analytics landing bucket is created and it is for the development <clears throat> let me get a sample file
Okay, I said I could CSV file sample. For this, can I download for this SPLS snowflake box? I'm just trying to get the sample from snowflake itself. Uh, so let me go back here and cmwsl I'm just configuring the credentials for this one. <clears throat> My access key. Okay, so I just configured default for JSON and done. Uh, let me see. I have access to this. Yes, I do have access. I'll use use this only, or I can download and upload to our uh, repository. Okay. Um, let me see if I can download it. Nope, they don't allow to uh, download. Okay. Okay, it's because you will download it. So here is the location I downloaded that file and I'll use the, our own bucket instead of using their own. Are you getting what I'm trying to do here? Yes, sir. So we have Snowflake bucket, it's public access. Hai. Uh, except I think they don't have given to put access. Uh, they just give a read access, but I 
बकेट पे ये डेटा कॉपी करना चाहता हूँ सो आई हैव इट कॉन्टैक्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड आई एल जस्ट दिस आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड टू अवर बकेट सो आई एल यूज इंस्टेड ऑफ आई एल कीप द रिकर्स यू सेम एंड नाउ मैं लोकल से अपडेट कर रहा हूं सो आई एल जस्ट पुट इट ही लोकल से अपलोड अपलोड टू वॉट बी डब्ल्यू रिटेल एनालिटिक्स डेव राइट लैंडिंग डेव इज द बकेट नेम दैट आई हैव करेक्ट that was the name and we just give here the name the one more prefix is लैंडिंग लोकेशन पे स्नोफ्लेक्स सैंपल डेटा एंड डेटा लोड के लिए मैं यूज कर रहा हूँ आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू अपलोड इट एंड यू कैन सी दैट इट इज द डेटा इज ओ टेन जी बी ओके let me go back and check so let's go to s3 s3 pe jaate hain and see the data is available there or not <clears throat> so this is my bucket inside the bucket i have the snowflake folder created inside snowflake sample data inside that data load okay and it's loading the data <clears throat> oh oh sorry so that's the reason i did not okay anyways so that's why it's uploading that much data i'll just cancel it ये मेरे सिस्टम का पूरा डेटा अपलोड कर रहा है सो आई डोंट वांट दैट्स व्हाई इट्स अ टेन जी बी आई पुट इट इन फोल्डर एंड देन अपलोड द यू फोल्डर्स ओनली आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीट दिस Okay, zero objects, and we don't have any versions enabled. So I'll go back again here. okay so what i did uh this is the location and here i go to snowflake contact data and isme ye 
चार या पांच फाइल सो आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड इट फ्रॉम हियर इंस्टीड ऑफ फ्रॉम द बेस लोकेशन सो डन अपलोड हो गया आई गो टू द एस थ्री टू कन्फर्म दैट इट अपलोडेड रिफ्रेश दिस ओके ये फाइल्स है आई हैव दिस फाइव ऑब्जेक्ट्स हियर आई जस्ट वांट टू मेक श्योर हमने वर्जनिंग एनेबल्ड नहीं किया है राइट करेक्ट सो वी डोंट हैव द वर्जन्स एनेबल्ड आर यू गुड सो फार विद मी यस सर ओके नाउ आई विल गो टू पावर शेल सॉरी यहां से अभी हम लोग अपलोड करेंगे तो बिफोर दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द फाइल सो दीज आर द फाइल्स ये फाइल्स है हमारे कॉन्टैक्ट वन टू थ्री इफ आई ओपन द सी एस वी फाइल दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सी एस वी फाइल फाइल में हेडर है हेडर के बाद इट्स अ पाइप डिलिमिटेड फाइल लेट मी ओपन इट विद द नोट पैड ओके सो इफ यू सी दिस इज द सी एस वी फाइल जिसको हेडर है एंड इट हैज द ई मेल आई डी इज इन टू इट ओके सो यस वी आर गुड विद द फाइल नाउ वॉट टू डू वॉट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट हम लोग क्या करेंगे विल क्रिएट अ फाइल फॉर्मेट ओके सो वॉट इज अ फाइल फॉर्मेट सो विल राइट ही है हमारा फाइल टाइप कौन सा है सो I will write instead of this. I'll say use ah uh, this use this one. So ye use database use karo. Then I want to also use use schema con. Use schema. ओके बीडब्ल्यू स्कीमा यूज करो ओके नो आई स्विच टू दिस बीडब्ल्यू स्कीमा आई कीप द वेयर हाउस एज सेम यहां तक यू आर गुड यस ओके नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट अ फाइल फॉर्मेट तो बाय डिफॉल्ट फाइल फॉर्मेट ये स्कीमा में तैयार होगा सो आई से क्रिएट क्रिएट और रिप्लेस आपको दिख रहा है ना ये आर यू एबल टू सी दिस क्रिएट स्टेटमेंट आई मीन फॉन्ट होता तो नहीं ओके क्रिएट और रिप्लेस एंड फाइल फॉर्मेट विल गिव द नेम contact file format uh then what type of file is this is a csv file so i'll just mention type is equal to csv correct then i'll mention hamare file mein header hai right so i just want to use that header so i'll mention um फर्स्ट डेलीमीटर भी है सो एफ फील डेलीमीटर एंड द फील्ड डेलीमीटर इज पाइप अगर कॉमा रहेगा तो वी विल वी कैन यूज द कॉमा देन आई वॉन्ट टू यूज द हेडर सो आई विल से स्कीप हेडर इज इक्वल टू वन Okay. 
so it's going to skip the header and now i'll just execute so ye hamara file format create ho gaya how do i know let's see uh, on snowflake ui <clears throat> okay ye file format create hua hai can you see this so file format is also an object of a database yahan tak you are good with uh, till now yes sir yes sir okay. now after creating a file format let's create uh, the stage okay so i'll again go back to our editor so sql editor and we'll create a stage um and you can create the file format uh last time humne alag alag files dekhi the what files can so you can use a json or you can change the csv to text or dot psv whatever the file you give you can change that so for right now i'm just creating the stage uh, so create and i'm using the same uh, database and schema so agar mai dusre database aur schema mein karna chahta hu so i can give the prefixes to it like this and schema name but mai same database mein karna chahta hu so i just have used already already whatever there <clears throat> so here i'm going to mention uh two things one is create कॉन्टेक्ट स्टेज एंड इस स्टेज के लिए फाइल फॉर्मेट कौन सा यूज करो द वन विच वी क्रिएटेड अबो इज दिस वन ओके एंड देन यू आर एल द लोकेशन और यू आर एल जहां पे स्टोर है सो एल जस्ट गेट इट द यू आर एल नाउ देर विल बी uh one puzzle and you tell me uh what is that okay so i'll go here and this is the uri i'll copy this and use it sorry here okay <clears throat> file format is created uh, sorry uh, stage is created now what type of stage is this can anybody tell it's a external stage and it is a uh, name stage because we give the name to it okay and you if you remember we have uh, to list the stage list at the rate and then we give the uh, name of the stage sorry this is the name of the stage why i got an access denied can anybody tell so we use the command to list the stage with list at the rate contact stage stage name correct and at the rate stand ye mujhe batata hai ki ye name stage hai correct so why i got an uh, error access denied error because of role mm, which role i am sys admin account id should be there sorry 
account admin role should be there, no? Uh, no, sys admin is fine. Okay, जो list कर रहा है, ये क्या कर रहा है? What is doing? ये stage है. Stage मतलब ये. ये मतलब location कौन सा है ये? Correct? So, वो क्या कर रहा है? S3 listing कर रहा है. It means, correct? Yes, are you agree to me? Yes. Correct? And S3 list नहीं हो रहा है. क्यों नहीं हो रहा है? Sorry, uh, what's oh, that? Sir. So actually, mm -hmm. while creating S3 bucket, uh, we haven't provided uh, uh, like uh, access to uh, mm -hmm. means uh, other accesses. Like mm -hmm. uh, we uh, while creating uh, S3 bucket, we denied mm -hmm. accesses from uh, other services. Correct. So, we have not public access. Nahi diya hai. And we are, when we do this, we are expecting public will have access. And what is the connection between AWS or uh, and Snowflake? There is no connection, right? How does it will know? Either give S3 bucket a public access so that you can access it. And I don't want to give any public access. So, what's the other way? What is the first way is may ye jao. So I'll go to S3, S3 pe jao or S3 pe make the bucket public, right? Or all this thing as a public, give this the public access, right? That's the first option. What is the second option? Can is anybody tell? Mm -hmm. Access control list. Yeah, uh, in Snowflake, what I can do? <clears throat> can anybody tell Snowflake me me kya kar sakta ho? Okay, on or a question, uh, push the apko ye access karne chord the Snowflake se chord the apko uh, command line se access karna hai AWS CLI se. S3 bucket, so what do you do? Prepare EC2. No, so you want to access S3 bucket. Suppose I have given you this URL and you have access this bucket. You try to access, you get an error. So what do you do? First of all, we have to configure your AWS with CLI. Mm-hmm. वो configuration करते time आप क्या provide करते हो उसको access list like sorry correct correct access secret access correct the two things you provided so what I can do first option is I can pass the access key and secret key uh, the both the keys that we have these two access ID and secret key uh, secret access key to the here and then we can use it correct that's the first option so second let me let me go with that and then i'll tell you the second option uh, or one more option uh, to do that okay so i'll i'll just to get an idea main yaha pe teen option likhta hu first option Okay, first is make bucket public. Okay, second. Okay, provide access ID and access secret key uh, during the creating creating snowflake stage. Okay, now let's do that one. So, how to do that one? Uh, last time we saw the syntax. Let me open that one. So, how, how we do if we try to create a stage and it's an external stage, 
in this external stage let's say i put it here and this is the bucket name suppose and here there is authentication we need to get it and instead of storage integration we we'll say access key secret key this is the access key and secret key we put it and it creates this code i'll just copy this code uh, because i want to use it okay so i'll go and use this one that is how we'll do so we'll say create stage and we'll give the name stage name whatever we have create or replace stage then uh, i have the url properly configured we'll just take it down just to differentiate okay url hai, and then i'll just copy this to line the credentials and then directly <clears throat> this this will scan the directory access id what is my access id uh, i think this is my access id what is my secret key so this is my secret key okay I'll copy this and create my stage. Okay, press this. There is an issue. Everything looks good. Yep. Create. So stage is created now. And let's do the listing of the stage. So this is, I do. Now you can see that I am able to list the stage. So list stage kya kar raha hai? AWS S3 command run kar raha hai. Now it able to do that because I pass the credentials, access key, AWS key ID, it's secret key. <clears throat> Yaha tak samaj mein aaya? Yes. Now what's the third option? Agar this is risky. Why it is risky? Because I'm passing the credentials in the code. So, is the problem kya hota hai? Anybody can grip it. How? If you see, um, if you see, uh, there is the query history. In query history, they can look at that whatever the queries are executed. Okay. So that reason, um, we don't want it to be shown. So warehouse. Actually, warehouse not being used. So there is no query history. So this all commands are executing on you you up ko samaj mein wo query jo maine execute ki ye query sorry this one ye list query ya jo bhi hai wo mujhe apna jo uh, virtual warehouse hai uske history mein kyun nahi dikhai de rahi hai can anybody tell So you can see that here I just pull uh, the query history which are executing and you can see how much time it has taken in creating that one. Okay. So you can see it is 
uh, some query ID is there and then you can see the time it took to execute, okay? Right? Now here, it doesn't show a warehouse. Why not the warehouse size is not being shown? Okay, I'll you you will come to know, right? Uh, you'll there is a basic architecture reason behind that. I will come to know, and you already you already know the answer. It just uh, just you need to look at it. So, I have a worksheet here and I'll just use the folder uh, or maybe just create a new one. Thing. Since admin does not have a warehouse, let me assign the warehouse to him. Admin, account admin. Okay, I gave the warehouse access, usage access to system admin so that it can use this one. So I'll go back again and now I'm executing this command. So as I execute, it's running. I'll go to the query history. This is my query. This is the query details and this is the query history um <clears throat> when it execute it use the extra small virtual warehouse but when i use this one it does not okay usne warehouse use nahi kiya why why it does not use the warehouse What is the difference between these two queries? Can anybody tell? Is me or select me? Kya difference hai? What type of queries are this? Can anybody tell? Select the TRL. Sorry? Sir, create queries used to create only stages or Correct. And select mm -hmm. And uh, select statement is used to get the record or to return any record. Okay. What what we call to these statements? What type of statements we call SQL statements? Create one is a DDL, sir, DDL. and uh, one is a DRL. Sorry? So create DDL. is a DDL statement mm -hmm. and select is a DRL statement. DML, right? Or DML. Okay. Yes, correct. Now, DDL kya karta hai? It's a definition language, right? It creates the definition of a table, view, object, or any object of a database. It creates a definition of an object of a database. 
versus the DML. DML deals with the data. It can get the data, it can update the data, it can delete the data. Uh, that's the uh, DML statements. So now we have snowflake me teen layer de kete. Kon kon se? Compute, storage, and what storage. was the third? Computer's query layer, storage layer, what was the third? Service layer. Service layer. Service Correct. layer. Correct. So, what did we say about service layer? What it stores? The metadata information. Correct. Manages the metadata. So, here the queries execute. Hoti hai. This executes on the infrastructure that is there by snowflake central layer jo hai, uh, executed. so it does not use the resources that we have okay but when we run the dml it uses the, our resources when select statement hum execute karte hai, so select may hum data se deal karte hai, so that's why ye create statement may hum definition se deal karte hai, and that's why it's being used by the uh, central layer or uh, service layer. So, we use it. Okay? You yes, Yes? Yes, sir. Now, uh, we are, what we have done we just created a stage or we stage we have uh, credentials pass kiye or jab humne list uh, list kiya on the internal stage we got the different files so here is what we got the different files correct list and in name stage hai because humne naam diya isko and at the rate sign se call kiya so we got the whatever the name there the files this file size kya hai md5 hash uh, wo file ka, and then when was last modified <coughs> we got all the information now hamara snowflake table create hua hai kya abhi? Nahi. okay still the data is on s3 data snowflake mein aaya nahi hai. can i query to the stage data yes you can query you can say select dollar uh, one from at the rate contact stage stage ka naam, and you can see the data okay you can see this is the first column uh, on that i think it's... okay uh let me do one thing as we have used the headers uh, I just want to check whether we can get it uh, last name, which is our second column. Oh, uh, if not able to identify, what's this? last name but i can go it by oh, the numbers i want to print the two columns i want to print print three third column or i want to show seventh column one two three seventh and i can see all the columns are shown here correct Yes. So, ye data kaha se fetch ho raha hai? Can anybody tell? Yes, please. As we say, directly, you are able to see that data into Snowflake. Correct? Now, third step kya hai? Uh, so, before moving to the third step, I just want to revise this. यहाँ पे हमने डेटा लोड करने के दो टेक्निक देखे एक तो S3 बकेट को पूरा एक्सेस दो यूज द एक्सेस आईडी एंड सीक्रेट की दैट्स द सेकंड ऑप्शन व्हाट इज द थर्ड ऑप्शन इफ आई वांट टू यूज 
I can use the third option where I can have the integrator. Okay. I can create a storage integration and use this. So Okay, that's the st third step uh, we can do using the storage integration. Uh, let me see if we have enough resources to get it to the storage integration. Um, for that, where we need a cloud provider uh, and other details, let me see, do we have all the details? <clears throat> Okay, uh, I can try, let, let's see. So for that, we need a storage provider. We need a role to be created and the path. So role we can create, let's proceed uh, and create it, okay? That's the third step. So first I can say create, I'll use this query again. Uh, are you so far with me? आपको समझ में आ रहा है हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं? Yes sir. Yes. Yes. So, हमें S3 से external source से data access करना है. तो पहला तो bucket को public कर दो, you will able to access. Second, either public नहीं करना है, तो access की and uh, AWS की डाल दो, so do that. Third is user storage integration between snowflake and aws and use that so right now i'm just writing the third thing which is storage integration this is s3 integration and type the storage integration ka external stage Then storage provider. Is we have S3. That is my storage provider. Storage. AWS role. ARN. We need to have this ARN created. I'll show you how to get that ARN. And do you want to get it enabled? Yes, we want to use always. Then storage location. We have only one location. Okay, now let's get the uh, storage rule ARN. So I'll go to the AWS. I'm going to here. And choose the role where that role has an access.
there any rows? No. There are only two rows and this role. If I select, this is the uh, service provider role. Let me create a new. Okay, and choose a service, which service I want, a S3 service. To this S3 service, now it will ask me what type of uh, permissions you want to provide it. So I'll filter S3. I can give full access, Amazon S3 full access, okay. Click on next, give the role name. Uh, S3 full access is the name I gave to that ARN and it will allow all bucket of full access, okay? and creating this role. I'll copy the ARN and use this ARN in here. Okay, once I create this ARN, let uh, change this. Now, I'll modify my stage to be used as the storage integration, correct? Third step will be updating this one. So credentials may hata dunga. URL needed and fill it this. Okay, so let's create first the storage integration. Hello. Yes, there is yes. a storage allowed location. location. Sorry. The last line. At the last line, you have it done. Storage okay. allowed. Yeah. Okay, allowed locations in insufficient privilege to uh, operate an account. Okay, role does not have uh, SQL access error control. Contest. So role has to change. So for right now, I'll just use a UI. Uh, I don't want to change access here. I'll just use this and switch the role. For this, the role I'm using sysadmin, I'll use account admin role, okay? And want to create a storage integration. Sorry, see locations, locations. Okay, so the S3 INT is created. Now I'll go back. Uh, the 
role do you know which role i connected i connected with sys admin and sys admin does not have a privilege to change the account settings so this is account setting and that's why it was not allowed to me so i use uh, the different one now but i will have an account access to create and replace stage so i have it here paste it and Okay, insufficient privilege on this. Let me get the privilege. So let me see, uh, I'm account admin. I just want to give in privileges. It's not refreshing. Where it got created, probably in the public. That's why. Um, let me go back to the worksheet here and select the database I want to create in DW database. I want to create in this. Uh, so it will be there. So I can provide an access. Okay, so I have it here. I'll give the access to it. Yes, schema me. stages and file format still not shown okay probably i think i should able to use it if not i'll have to update and access to it okay i think let me check the access to it uh, integration privileges so I should have account admin should create uh, that one. Create storage integration should be always done by the account admin, but access should be given. So right now uh, I don't have an permission on operate on the integration. So I need to get that permission set up.
So put the enable to when we create uh, the storage integration, just want to check um, the access diya tha ya nahi. So storage integration enable true. Yeah, we give them the access needs just a permission to use that storage integration. Okay. Go here and go here. I don't see the storage integration. Don't oh, admin. comes under the admin and org admin org admin and go to the admin integration so under accounts of account so under users so let me see the system admin controls under the roles i have let's start with the account admin account admin has the highest privileges so security at sys admin sys admin does not have that privileges control For right now, I'll just you create with uh, the account admin so that we can access it. So I'll just use the account admin user, account admin role. In account admin role, I have this the way I created uh, the integrator. Use the same thing for creating the stage also so i run it the stage is created and i can list the stage list at the rate stage name so i showed all three ways in which we can access the data in a stage from snowflake uh, which the data which is stored in s3 Okay, so it is creating the list or we can also run the query.
what is the error? A role and external ideas are configured. Let's check. Okay, API error, it's not allowing. Let me check uh, query fail. It's not allowing Snowflake to access the data. So it means that our uh, role consai account admin hai. So should able to access. So the role ARN role that we created looks like the connection takes in the UI. Something is missing there. And that is causing an issue. So I'm trying to look at uh, the S3 configuration through IAM role where we make configuration. Let me go back and check the role, role ARN check karna padega. What is there? So we go to policies and check that which policy we are using. <clears throat> Also, we need to go to IM and on IM go to this. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. The IM role check. Sorry, yep. AWS account may one another. Yeah, so account settings. Yes, choose the account settings in IM. So we need to go to IM and choose the account setting. So not here, not on the this side. Let me get that one, okay? Just a minute. Not on the billing.
security token services regions account setting security token and service region and we need to activate service token I think it's activated. Session token is activated. If not, US East one service US East one may US East one always active. Okay, that is okay. Then we need to go to policies and let me create it for from the beginning. We'll create a policy and we'll attach it to the role, the custom policy. And here I just want to use policy editor. So what it is doing, it is allowing mainly these four things is needed on a bucket that we want the bucket is this I choose all this bucket till here and everything under this bucket. Uh, generally account number comes here, but as we are in the same account, we are taking this same and the bucket name is this one. prefix s3 prefix we want we provided this from follow all the things The full role should be okay. I don't know why it's not allowing. Okay, this another account probably. This is the thing we need to choose another account. Uh, and a 
अकाउंट आईडी के रिक्वायरेस्ट में आईडी पे क्लिक करना है उधर सॉरी ये रिक्वायरेस्ट में आईडी है इधर क्लिक करना है रिक्वायर्ड एक्सटर्नल आईडी यस जीरो जीरो एक्सेस कैन एक्सेस द ऑल द अकाउंट वन टू थ्री MFA, I'll just say next, and the permission that we have is you can give a full access or the one which we created policy. Click on next, so we'll give the name as this is no integration that was missing. And create role. So I'll go copy the ARN for this. The missing part was uh, external account access. That was a missing part. I'll go back again to here and just update the ARN now. Just before making sure everything is correct. Yeah. And we just replace this one. And create a stage and just list the stage. Okay, I think still it's not ensure it was rule specify. Hello, sir. Yep. A command I leave chat me. Oh, in internal uh, stage banana storage. Uske baad waran karna padda hai. Internal storage. Ah, uh, uske baad. Ek chat me da liye. So we created internal storage and then. उसको डिस्क्राइब कर लूँगा मैं पहले थिंग आई थिंक लेट्स सी डिस्क्राइब डिस्क्राइब स्टोरेज इज जस्ट विल टेल व्हाट इज देयर इट इज जस्ट शोइंग दैट व्हाट यू क्रिएटेड इट इज नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग डिस्क्राइब स्टोरेज इंटीग्रेशन एंड द इंटीग्रेशन नेम इट गिव द डेफिनेशन जो हमने बनाया वही डिस्प्ले करेगा वो इट्स नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग एल्स so just to see enable storage provider s3 hai uh, allowed location is this one uh, and block location kuch nahi hai storage urn i am user arn hmm okay sir ye dono edit karna padta hai udhar ja ke i Yes, we need to add the storage. I am user ARN, so we need to create a user also. Uh, then we have this is correct. Uh, this is external ID is correct. Comment हमने डाला नहीं था. It doesn't able to find a user. So let me go back. Ah, uh, what we will do? A role. Are there any users? Though there are no users, so we make. Can create a user which can be used. I'll just provide access for simplicity. Ah, uh, so identity. I want to create. I am user. Oh, if I use this, it will need a password. So identity center user. Let's see. We'll go with this. Oh, I want to use. I don't want to use the credentials. If I use the credentials. अगर क्रेडेंशियल्स यूज किया तो क्या होगा इट विल 
go with the credential. That's what I don't want to use. I want to go through the role. If I go with the user, you know what problem it will have if I go with the user, it will ask for the credentials, right? So which we don't want. Let me see. Um, we need to do a user with this role. Okay. All right. Let's try with that. And next, attaching that policy to the user and just checking that user detail create is this the show password. So we know S3 Snow integration. Just want to check the user list. Hello. Yes. Hello. Either you roll me edit can about this, sir. John, me roll one and a push back click or trust for second all option and a trust relationship. Push me click on our day or edit on our day. Right side may be there. Yeah, you see. Yeah. So right now, account is this one. So account for our grammar, right? six zero and this is the aws account assume role this is correct uh just we need to add the principal here policy let me copy from there and just to verify instead of root i'll use the snowflake arn uh let me grab the snowflake arn Sir, वो snowflakes में जो describe किया है ना उधर का डालना पड़ता है वो principal ID उधर आया होता है yeah just a minute grabbing that one the rules में policy user ARN user ARN So for this user, allow all, assume role with this and SST external snowflake external ID. That's what we need to pass. So we need to get a storage external ID. So uh, we need to get this snowflake external id value let me see the rule that we use for snowflake okay snowflake where is snowflake Yep. Either external ID. Snowflake external ID.
Okay, I copy this and use this here. Okay. And update the policy. Yep. So now I have this. We followed all the steps. For bucket, I am rule bucket permission should be there because we already added the bucket. If not, we can check in the policy should be okay. Let me check now one more time. Taking time. So now on the project, so do you have to do that? So of course you will not get an access to admin account or you will not get an access uh, to system account even. Generally uh, on project, you will just get uh, the normal user. I think something is still missing. Looks like uh, it's a privilege or let me see. There is a user thing we have not done. Uh, just verify that which is granting I am user permission to access the bucket. I think should be, let me check on the user side. So this is our user. Sir, or role we change karna hai. I am role. Udar describe me aaya hoga. Yeah, no, on the role, on the role side we have trust. Uh, just checking with every value is there. Mm -hmm. Sir, udar aaya ho aaya ho. I am role aaya ho hai na. Oh, snow snow place me. I am role, if you see here, let me run one more time. This is the role. And I am user ARN is this one. So, upper wala, yes wala. Last me, yes, yes. Yes, that's the one I copied. So I'll go here and user ARN. Edit trust policy. Probably no need to update this. Okay. Now, what we did here is first we created a role. Role ko humne access diya. Uh, first, this is not required. I can delete this. Uh, this is the custom. It's not required here and we can delete it. 
सो वी क्रिएटेड अ कस्टम रोल और रोल में हमने एक्सेस दिया पॉलिसी फर्स्ट वी क्रिएटेड अ पॉलिसी पॉलिसी वी कैन आल्सो यूज द डिफॉल्ट पॉलिसी टू गिव एक ऑल द एक्सेस फुल एक्सेस टू एस थ्री पॉलिसी में ये है कि एस थ्री को देर आर थ्री एक्सेस कैन लुक इन जेसन और सम हियर और समरी ऑल्सो सो वी गिव रीड लिस्ट एंड राइट थ्री परमिशन दिए to which bucket the this bucket mm -hmm. jo hamara bucket tha and also the prefixes we give all the access and list and get bucket location to the bucket and object level pe ye permission diya uh, that's pretty simple uh, nothing then what we created we created a role now here is a tricky part on this role uh, we created a अटैच द पॉलिसी तो रोल को पॉलिसी अटैच हो गए बट इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सेस टू थर्ड सिस्टम सो वॉट वी डिड वी क्रिएटेड अ प्रिंसिपल वेयर वी से वी वॉन्ट टू अलो द एक्सेस टू दिस यूजर ऑन वॉट विज अज्यूम रोल ऑन विच एक्सटर्नल आई डी दिस इज दिन एक्सटर्नल आई डी so this external id when we created uh, the snowflake external id here when we created the storage integrator that's what that id got created and we use that id and map that id here in the im role and it gives the access with assume role with assume role it is getting the access to this user and then this user is getting to the then we created the user and uh, this user basically uh, get connected to the integrator and then we got an access on the snowflake side it's easy just to create integrator then create use that integrator in creating the stage and use that stage the last step right now we are doing is we know the data is in external stage we need to write that data or create that table so in order to create that table first we need to create a definition of the table so let's get the definition of the table so we have uh, the we created a file format and we said also the skip uh, first location first object or first line of uh first line of the file and it can automatically get into the uh, that particular file so what we need to do right now create a table and use the table so i'll just go here i'm going to use i can use the account admin first of all we need to create a table or we can just copy into some table let me write it so if you remember i showed one diagram uh, that day first after external after making connection you need to copy that into a table uh, from the name stage so copy into i can say contacts this is my table name from at from at the rate uh my stage contact stage is the my stage name or i can give uh the entire path and anything for right now data load is the entire path we are giving in that when we looked at we have the different files so i can choose on that one dot csv file which will be get and on top of that uh, there are different options if some error occur what to do if 
uh, skip header and like that. So I'll add copy into, let me first create a definition of the table. All character looks like okay. Okay, I'll just make all them in Okay, I'll just have all this and create this definition of a table under this schema. I think it's line number 25. and then load this data. And then check the data. Okay, so uh, and it will also tell you uh, if there are any errors in the data load, if you can go to the query. And now if I delete or the connection to the stage is gone, till you will able to see the things. So I'll just go want to go to the query history. And in query history, you can see that we executed copy the data from here and you can see the time it took the amount of time it took in the execution okay and here you can see now the virtual warehouse being used the virtual warehouse being used because it's now actually dealing with data it is copying the data it is converting into snowfall uh, micro partitions and that's why the warehouse use being used in other cases the warehouse there is a time which is being used but no warehouse being used the reason is that it is all happening on the service layer okay
and here also it being used because you are fetching the data and it is showing its compute basically it's just showing the data and if i run the query again so see if i run the same query again it will not use the warehouse so if i run right now and again go you can see that uh, 79 milliseconds it used and no virtual warehouse will be used Seventy nine millisecond. No virtual. Uh, yeah. sir, so, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, yep. I just want to uh, convey some mess few messages. So, Aditya. Yes, sir. अगर मान के चलो मैं मेरे इनसे लिंक शेयर नहीं करता हूँ मेरे इनसे वो चीजें नहीं हो पाती है तो इमीडिएटली आप नेहा से बात करो उस पर्टिकुलर टाइम में और वो जैसे लिंक शेयर करते आपको होस्ट करने के लिए बोलो उनको ठीक है ओके सर सर ज्वाइन करने के बाद आप रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्ट करके अदरवाइज को होस्ट करूं और रिकॉर्डिंग उनके लेवल पे स्टार्ट कर देंगे ओके सर बी लास्ट नियर बाय वन आर टुडे ऐसे हो गया आज ऐसे नहीं होना चाहिए ओके सर ओके हां मजा करने का रिस्पांस आला नहीं इमीडिएटली तो नेहा ला कनेक्ट कर क्यों हेमांगीला कनेक्ट कर चालेल सर चालेल नो प्रॉब्लम ठीक है चलो उमेश सर प्लीज यू कॉल कैप्टन ओके श्योर राइट नाउ आई थिंक इट्स 7 पीएम देयर लेट मी नो इफ यू वांट टू कंटिन्यू और uh we can continue other part so which was this data loading was important one important in the sense uh the completion part the next one is we are going to see data unload uh you can also do let me complete this with the ui also humne jo abhi um jo part snow sequel se kiya we can also do it snow sequel why to use because we want to go with the batches so you can do the same thing from the uh, ui also so in the ui uh, once you select the data you can create the uh, different so let's say here you can create an object you can create a uh, first uh, the stage the file format you can also create the file format and then load so from ui also you can do and you can also upload the data okay so not necessary that you have to do it from snow sequel uh, but snow sequel is the way where we do it from batch and creating uh, some of the things just like humne file format create kiya humne table create kiya stage create kiya these are one time activities and load is which will may happen multiple times but uh, when you do or whenever the objects or jobs are built in that case uh, it is a one time activity now snowflake is coming with jaise python code hai aapka python code mein aap uh, you store code in git and then you use it reuse it ci cd pipeline hota hai वैसे स्नोफ्लेक में अभी तक नहीं था तो सो स्नोफ्लेक इज कमिंग विद द इंटीग्रेशन विद सी आई सी डी पाइपलाइन प्रॉब्लली इट्स नॉट अवेलेबल येट बट इफ यू गूगल देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ वर्चुअल सेशन एंड प्रॉब्ली दे विल रिलीज इट सोन सो वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू सपोज मैंने मेरा स्टेज चेंज किया इन प्रोडक्शन यू कैनॉट गो लॉग इन टू द सिस्टम एंड डू इट राइट नाउ हाउ पीपल डू इट people make the change they test it and then they put into the gate and then that's a ddl goes and that ddl get updates but going forward snowflake will maintain uh, i mean snowflake will provide the facility to do that updates so that integration is also coming and that will be a big relief right now abhi kya hota hai your code and database are two different things you need to manage agar main data definition change karna chahta hu so uh, that goes through different process right so it adds some complexities but going forward it will be a 
process oriented and that will determine you can also follow in git ki maine table mein kon kon se changes ki kiya hai aur kab kab changes kiya hai so that will be a very good uh, use case there is also uh, we are going to see in coming days is snow sequel no not snow sequel uh, snow snow park so which is the spark uh, you can use in the snowflake another thing recently they have released is the app streamlit app i'm not sure uh, if you know the streamlit is the uh, python application development library with which you can create the applications now ui applications meaning you can create a ui screens into that so that's why you'll see this uh, is in preview phase but uh, it is very good आप डेटाबेस पे यूआई बना सकते हो अपना खुद का विद द कोड लाइक यू यू कैन डू अ वेब डेवलपमेंट टाइप ऑफ थिंग एंड यू कैन आल्सो एक्सपोज दैट टू द एक्सटर्नल सोर्सेस बट विद द सिक्योरिटी एंड अदर थिंग मेंटेन बाय द स्नोफ्लेक रोल्स एंड रोल बेस्ड एक्सेस कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स बैक्ड बाय स्नोफ्लेक द कंप्यूट इसमें यूज होगा uh your virtual warehouse so it's a complete package so that will be the game changer going forward also okay i think we'll stop here and we'll continue tomorrow uh with the data unloading or we can look at the some of uh the data processing also i'm not going to go in detail with the sql like join and other thing i hope you already know it uh but data unloading then we'll build a snow pipe which is a streaming data ingestion then we'll go with the snow park and then streamly uh these things will cover and uh, some of the admin activities uh that are required okay some important functions are you can the benefit of snowflake is you can have the semi structured data also and you can query that semi structured data that is the one benefit also we will see okay uh, i want a vo volunteer uh, what i want just someone to put your first name and last name as a user id and email id so that i can add you on vault and you can use that let me share the link and use that link to connect it just a minute ओके जस्ट टेन डिजिट मोबाइल नंबर डालो यहाँ पे डोंट नीड ओके सो आई जस्ट नीड द इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर ऑल ओके Uh, let me share this 
with you while share. I put this link in chat. Uh, let me know once. Oh, sorry. I think I need to give the editor access. Can you please confirm you're able to access it? Okay. Once you are able to access, put your first name, last name, uh, email ID, and mobile number. Uh, why I need this? Uh, I'm going to create your user into the vault, and with the first name dot last name is the one I'm going to use. Um, so, yeah, don't put a space in your name, uh, and you can go forward and add your details here. Okay. Any question? I will also try to add you in uh, AWS, the account I have. The only problem is that I will not give you uh, detail access. Otherwise, people will start uh, executing the job and other thing i'll i hamare project ke hisab se main aapko access dunga and one day you will have access to create execute the lambda functions or uh, that thing just project related not the entire functions uh, one or two hours ke liye just to make sure you practice it and vault ka access rahega aapko vault you can use any time okay Any other question? If not, then we'll pause here. Okay. Thank you. Thanks all. I'll keep the meeting on for some time uh, because few people might not have copied the URL from the chat. So please copy that and by the time I'll just stop the screen share and stop the recording.